as well. Um, injured his wrist, had to have um, a surgery, and so both those guys will be out. Um, it appears to be as, as such. Um, uh, the, the timetable is um, kind of uh, up in the air with regard to um, how and wh what they're how they're going to treat it, but um, yeah, he won't he won't be back for this postseason. Yeah, yeah. Um, he uh, it, it so happened it was on the uh, the punt return for um, a touchdown, but that he uh, tore his patella. Um, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. Um, no, the, there's uh, the the big the biggest issue is you know for those individuals, um, you know the the team hurts for the 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 individual players. How you know just because you invest in your teammate's story, um, know where they're at and um, the opportunity that they have, um, you know. But uh, I I think that uh, we we've learned. Um, through, uh, we've really learned the hard way that, um, you know, the, we have capable players across the board um, and, the, and the team doesn't use that as an excuse whatsoever, um, but very uh, heavy hearts for the individuals, for sure. There's a, um, that's pretty good math. I think uh, that that's kind of uh, where, where we're at from a death perspective. So uh, uh, we're working on that as we speak. You know, I don't, I don't really attach any um, uh, feeling towards it. You know, the, these are, at this um, time of the year, you have, that's, that's why you stay prepared. That's why um, Chris and his department work the way they do. Um, so you have, you know, uh, conversations about people we're uh, bringing up today that we're um, sorting through last week just to, uh, you know, stay adept at that. So, um, it, it's really, you know, it's a, it, it's a thing. If you make it a thing, I think the, um, the, the main focus is, you know, um, transitioning from, a a, a, a game where, where guys, um, really laid it on the line and fell short. We fell short of our, um, you know, our, you know, goal going into the season to win the AFC East, but at the same time, um, does that matter? No, we have we we're one of the 14 teams that still um, have games, so you you uh, try to harness all of your um, emotion, uh, focus, and uh, really thought towards um, coming together for that goal. Well, no, yeah, and it's and it's more like the. Here's the thing about uh, the NFL playoffs is um, as much as as much weight as all the things that happen during the season carry. Um, there, there's narratives galore that grow out of results. Um, in the playoffs, it doesn't matter. It's a reset. It's a um, there's no uh, winners and losers bracket. You know, you're playing football, and the winner gets to continue to play, and the loser does not. So. Um, you know, I think that you have to, you, you have to be bold to, um, you know, to set goals that are, uh, you know, that you go into kn knowing that, um, you know, they, it, it's not what has been done. You have to be willing to, um, be vulnerable enough to fully commit yourself to something that you aspire to, to aspire to achieve and, um, that's that's a goal. That's not the um, only goal. And the the bottom line is, you, how how do you? It's it's so much like life. Um, how do you take whatever um, hand that you have, and uh, um, it, you know, however it's dealt, um, you, you try to make the most of it. So, you know, we have a we the team will be fired up to um, go. Uh, embrace the challenge and there's many layers to what what that why it's a challenge um for us in house we're uh you know we all believe in each other and we want to go um you know get a get in a losing taste out of your mouth and 
that's the only objective. So all that other stuff, um, if, if you, uh, it, it, it's not to say it's easy, but um, nothing really worthwhile is. So you, you have to um, transition. We don't have any time to waste and we have to put our best foot forward, um, you know, at being one of the 14 teams that um, get to continue to play, and we, we'll take pride in that and, um, you know, do everything we can uh, so that we can be proud of uh, what we put on the field. The, the, the idea is that you um, really immerse yourself into the season and, and grow, and so you have a chance to, to be your best um, when it's elimination time. And, you know, there, there's not an exact science. Um, you'd prefer to go um, in on a winning streak, obviously, but, you know, I've, I've been part of, uh, you know, really any, any team that I've been on that's been successful through the playoffs has had um, what appeared to be a, uh, a completely detrimental um, loss down the stretch of the season. But when, when that happens, you know, I think um, you, you get to learn a lot about your team and people either um, come together or, or fracture apart. And I don't see this team fracturing apart at all. So, um, you know, I think there's, there's a lot of confidence that they can garner from, um, you know, playing a lot of good football during the season. And, you know, I think um, the – I don't think the team is going to uh, expect nor be uh, really give any concern about the fact whether or not people uh, have so many reasons why we can't. Um, we'll focus on why we can. And, and uh, you know, I really, really believe in the individuals to – um, be strong-minded enough to uh, handle the the hurt that's been delivered, um, you know, the last couple of weeks, and and press forward um, to try to do something special together. So that that the really it's there's there's more um, there's more things that could distract you um, from you know what what we need to do together as a team to win a football game on the road. Um, you know, in, in a hostile environment. But I think those are um, so many more reasons for, for you to strain and try to achieve it because it will be that much more worthwhile as a team, and that's, that, that's what we're focused on. You know, that, that was um, really those shirts are, are more about uh, it, it carries on a, an ultimate premise of, like, adversity is an opportunity. So I think in the process of, um, you know, teaching the team how I really view things. You know, I think that was, might have been more appropriate. I think they know what time it is now, and you're, you're talking about playoff football. Um, more often than not, uh, if we're playing any playoff game that's not um, home, it probably will be cold. It will be the same temperature for both teams, and, um, you know, we can't – for for us and for the individuals in the locker room, I know they're not going to use that um, as an excuse. The bottom line is we'll we'll play a game in the uh, same environment as the other team. So um, you have to. It doesn't matter if you're um, you know played the last couple games in warm weather. Uh, that you have to you have to adjust if you want a chance to win. So I, I have no doubt that the guys will. Um, leave leave that on their doorstep of cause of concerns. Um, there's plenty of reasons to be motivated, uh, and uh, and th this team is highly. Uh, I I you know I think um, when you're a, a player of his caliber that our team depends on so much you, that can be a little um, uh, misleading in terms of you know he gets a ton of targets. And in those, and when we go to them in high stakes situations, um, it, it's uh, not like he's just gliding in open field. They're pretty contested, um, and he's proven time and time again um, why we continue to go to him. There's uh, zero people, including myself, that are concerned about 
um, a pattern of whatever. There's individual plays. Um, he has a high expectation to literally make every play. Um, and in, in that process, um, there's no such thing as a 100% shooter. Uh, I, I would say that one was, uh, that's a little more dubious. I'm, um, uh, as uh, I'm um, more optimistic for sure uh, about Raheem and, and Jalen. I know I would never rule anything out with X because um, it means so much to him and he's, he's doing everything he can. Um, but uh, I would say it would be fair to, um, it's fair to say that we're uh, not planning for him um, to be in this game. But, you know, if, he, he, if things change, things change. Um, very impressive and inspiring for, for um, teammates on the other side of the ball, same side of the ball, various positions. This, this guy um, seized every opportunity, and that, that's the um, hallmark of uh, you know, what, what players have to do in this league is you eventually get an opportunity some way, shape, or form. Um, what do you do with it? Uh, he found a way to be um, a versatile contributor um, before he was a starter. Um, then every time he, uh, we called upon him to, to start, he came through in, in a big-time way. So um, that's it, the, it's the beauty of um, you know, professional sports. And, you know, when you see those type of things occur, it's, it, it's inspiring to um, coaches and players alike. And he, he, he really made the most of his opportunities for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll investigate um, a, a ton of different scenarios, which is what you do when um, uh, you, you kind of have a, you know, a, a, little, a little run on injuries at a certain position. Um, so there's a there's a lot of a lot of guys we're discussing and um, we'll iron that out here in the next um, quick future. Uh, um, I think I think this this particular team, um, you know, I the the noise you know I anticipate will be loud enough and um, pointed enough that uh, I won't necessarily have to bring it up. I, I will say that this team. Um, you know, in in my opinion, they set their expectations and standards for what they wanted to do um, way before people said they could do it. Um, there's a lot of people littered on the team that have out been outrightly told that they can't. Um, I, I don't. I I don't see that um, as surprising that that. Um, would be said, nor do I um, worry about it. I, th I think it's something that, um, you know, our, our, the, the individual players across the board in the locker room um, are, have, there's, it's littered, our locker room is littered with people that have found success um, in the face of people saying they can't, so, um, and, uh, you know, people will say we we can't until we do. Um, no, we're, we'll we'll try some, uh, you know, different. Uh, you know, the, the main thing is to try to get him where he can be at his peak performance for the entirety of a game. So, um, you know, our our plan is to kind of, you know, adjust the way we've done the work week to see um, how how that will kind of. Um, uh, relay to the game because that, you know, the idea is that he's um, able to, you know, fully be himself for the entirety of the game. So we have to, um, we'll, we'll probably try a little, a little different formula um, to try to get a better solution. That, that, I understand why that question would come up because we um, are very particular in treating each individual um, as uh, on a case by case basis, and you know, for for example, um, both <coughs> Waddle and Raheem had the aspirations to go, um, and and uh, in in their minds, 
um, we're, we're ready to go. However, from, uh, you know, our medical staff's perspective, um, they, it was more likely than not, not that, um, their vulnerabilities would, would lead them to either not finish the game or not be available for the next week. So that when, when the risk, um, is substantial enough where it's, um, more likely than not, I would say, um, that, that it makes the decision easy. Uh, but, you know, I think that's why you have to treat every individual as an individual, completely discuss um, uh, each and every little nuance to, to whatever their injury is, um, you know, uh, apply appropriate, um, you know, I, either – pushing or pulling back of exertion and you, you just have to be very communicative and you know do what's in the best interest of the organization um we we thought that the risk outweighed the reward um for those two and um you know th th those are the types of decisions that aren't always easy but you cl you make them collectively with uh the the players involved in the conversations because it's their career ultimately and um you know, we're just trying to do right by them.